Hey guys, Eric Sargent, General Manager at Martin Toyota, and we got our first 1958 2024 uh, LC250. Let's take a look at it. Um, so what we've done is completely stock uh, suspension, completely stock height, no, no no level spacers at all. But we did increase the tire size to an LT275 uh, 70, which is essentially um, a, a 33.1 inch tire. This is a Toyota Open Country AT3, 11 inches wide. Uh, again, no additional spacers, no additional wheel spacers or actual level kit spacers. Stock 18-inch wheel on a 1958. If you look underneath here, they have we have a couple added accessories that did not come on the car from the factory. We have the ZR Tactical uh, billet aluminum recovery hooks, uh, powder coated in gloss red. And then we have two skid plates. We have a front skid plate right here. And then there's another skid plate that goes all the way back to about the passenger driver's side seat. So, and those are OEM. As you can see, it has the word Toyota on it in the heritage font. And then on the side, we added the uh, Toyota OEM uh, rock rail sliders right here. Uh, they're, they, it's a bolt on. The frame has the, uh, the nut certs built into it, so they, they just basically bolt right on. Uh, these run uh, about uh, 1500 bucks for a set. And then this is the OEM roof rack. And this is like, actually a really cool roof rack. It, uh, obviously, 1958 doesn't have a moon roof. But if this was a Land Cruiser or a uh, first edition, it would have a mirror, and this would not cover it. So the wind noise would start back here, and as you're moving, you wouldn't have that additional wind noise that this typically creates on a full-size roof rack. And you kind of you kind of come up here. One thing that I find that's kind of interesting on this mirror is that the shark fin antenna is right here. And usually, if you have an aluminum roof rack, what they do is they kind of block your XM radio antenna. And so sometimes you lose signal. And so this is actually a plastic cover and it's got some kind of a diamond ridge to it. And I don't, I haven't heard anything from Toyota on it technically, but this does not interfere with the XM radio reception at all. Although the shark pin is completely invisible. So I'm, I'm wondering if the diamond pattern has something to do with that. But on the cross members here, there are a total of four of them. These are aluminum, similar to an 8820 bar. And they do have uh, these notches on both sides. So if you're adding an accessory on it, you can put your bolt in or your nut here slide it in from either side real easily. And this is an aluminum roof rack and it's an OEM accessory and we keep these in stock. You guys like the 1958 Land Cruiser? Let us know what you think about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.